I'm going to recap. I'm, I'm recording. Uh, I'm going to recap what we determined the last lesson, right? Um, that we're going to use a six inch riser and 12 inch tread combination that the intermediate landing is going to be at seven feet. So the first flight is to seven feet. And the second flight is going to be to from seven feet to 14 feet. Here's the plan of the second floor. I'm going to trace it. I'm going to use the second floor to create the the, the drawing, right? Um, let me just remind us. But on the first floor, we have an exit to the street that's seven feet from, from here. A couple doors, if we were able to look all the way down. But it's going to be easier to, because we can see the landing on the second floor that's at 14 feet. That's the elevation of this landing. A couple doors that swing into. this aisle. Let's, this drawing is a quarter inch scale. Quarter inch is one foot. So some, somewhere in this drawing, let's draw in the middle of the space here. Somewhere in the middle of the space, there's a landing whose elevation is at seven foot zero. Right? That's 84 inches. That means we need how many six inch risers? We need 14 six inch risers to get to this landing. 14 risers. Thirteen threads. We showed um, before how the um, number of threads is one less than the number of riders. So thirteen threads at twelve is thirteen feet. If we were to extend the stair in this direction, the horizontal projection of 
13 treads would be 13 feet. So we can measure that with, a, with an architect. Take the quarter inch scale side, 10, 11, 12, 13. And just take off 13 feet. Okay. Let's make that four. I, I guess that I, that's pretty close. It's a little more than four. So this dimension is 13 feet. Each tread is a quarter inch, right? Because the treads at 12 inches and a quarter inch scale, each tread is a quarter inch. So I'm not going to draw every single one of them. That's this is the drawing that you're generating. If we made a right turn with this drawing, let me let let's move this out of the way for now and just talk about the mechanics of the, the this the, this there. To climb another seven feet, we need 13 treads or 14 risers. So that's going to be another 13 feet. And there's my 13 foot tip mark. And again, I'm not going to draw every one. The question is, will this L shape, here's the outline, looking at, at the stair, looking at the stair going down, will this L, L shape solve the problem of getting to this landing? Well, if there were nothing, uh, okay, let me make these lines a little bit darker. question is, does this fit? The answer, I think you can see, is pretty much yes. Okay, whether it's the optimal solution is a question for you guys, but I, if I draw it from the second floor, right, I start climbing here to go up, 
So from the second floor, I have the down arrow. This is going down. So I got 13 feet this way, four, four feet this way. And then 13 feet there. Do I have four feet in front of that stair? I think I do. You got just about four feet. The depth of the inside of that space is 22 feet, so I got 13 and 4 and 4 would be 13 plus 8. This is 4 feet. It's, this is a 4 foot square landing. I think I actually got 5 feet over there. So 13 and 4, 17. And five is 22. Now that stair will work. The answer of whether it's an optimal solution is a different story. Why is that? Because, think of it, if you're on, it looks fine for the second floor. I can get down, I get down to the lobby space. But the vertical projection of this, right, if I'm looking in this direction, I have a stair right in front of me that impedes flow of traffic. This I trace from the second. Better, a better solution might be to put the landing in that corner, right? And change The start point of the stair that would change the elevation of the landing, right? Because on the on the ground floor, I have a door, right? So I really can't begin climbing. Four feet after the beginning of that door. Let's map it out. There's my four foot mark. So the stair would begin there. And I need four feet for the landing. So my landing is here. four foot square landing. Now the question is what is the optimal point to begin the climb the, the climbing of that stair? Well we need a minimum four feet in front of it. This has to be four feet min. Right? 
But then the horizontal projection has to be perfect multiples of 12 inches. Well, I think we can manage that because these are all in equal in increments. So we have six, we have seven, seven feet. Yeah. This is seven feet. Seven feet is going to give us seven treads or eight risers. One, two, three, four, five. Did I measure that one? We have 22 feet there. We have 7 and 4 is 11 and 7 is 18 and 4 is 22. So, yeah, I have, I've drawn this a little bit inaccurately, but we have 1, 2, 3, Seven threads or eight risers. Eight risers means what is the elevation of this landing? Well, each riser is six inches, so that the elevation of that landing is 48 inches or four. Oh. So now we have to climb 10 feet. So we need a horizontal for the for the stair to climb ten feet. We need um, twenty. How many six inch risers? 10 feet would be 20 six inch risers. So 20 risers. Or 19 threads at 12. Have we got 19 feet? We have more than 19 feet. So what does that mean? That means either the landing becomes bigger here or at the very top of the stair. Let's make this, let's do it from the edge. Nineteen feet from the edge of the stair. means that our landing is wider. Remember, the space in front of the landing has to be at least the width of the stair. Stair width 4.0 their width. Okay. So here we've got another three feet. So we have a landing of seven feet. Then we have a, hor a horizontal projection of the stair. Nineteen feet. And if we were to tick off a quarter inch, 
increments. That's what it would look like. Probably want to work on scrap paper first, and then you can draw the, the stair. More carefully. Right. So there's our solution. We climb to a height four feet that's eight risers one two three four five six seven eight drawn one too many this should be seven treads seven That's seven feet, four feet width, seven feet depth of the landing. Let me apply some color to it. That's the landing. That's the land on the boat. There's, I, in my opinion, this is going to be the most elegant solution to this problem because your stair is hugging the wall. It doesn't prevent the flow of traffic to the door. There's a space of four feet in front of it. The next drawing that you need to make is the elevation of this stair. So think of it as this arrow Let's, let's take it out here. It'll be that arrow. And it's going to be looking that way. That'll be the third and final drawing that we need. And I'll show you the convention for drawing the stair on the first floor and the second. 